Welcome everybody to a game called Supernatural. This game uses your mic to ask questions to a ghost inside of a house. The ghost is supposed to help you and you're supposed to figure out how to get rid of the ghost at the same time. We are going to figure out how we're going to do that right now. If you guys cool, they down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. Detective Wyatt, man, I can't believe I'm talking to you. I've been a huge fan of your Especially that Sakamoto case. Oh, that case? Yeah, that case sucks. Pure genius. Your dedication is legendary. And that's why I knew you were the right person to reach out to. Sorry, I just farted. I've got this strange situation at my place that's been keeping me up at night. Well, Colton, I appreciate the kind words. Nice to meet you. Now, tell me, what's going on? It's about what is this that? Like I mentioned it. Oh, the lady was good, my boy. Beyonce, Kaylee, and me. Was good, my boy. Who's a good boy? She seemed very long. Who's a good dog? She's practically family, living right next to our house. Who's a good ago, boy? Disappeared, gone. Not answering calls, missing her usual hours. Who disappeared for a week? Yeah, that's definitely cause for concern. Anything unusual Jeez. about her behavior before she Storm of the century outside. Yeah, that's the thing. She started acting strangely, calling us by different names, humming these bizarre tunes. You're not gonna throw your trash? There's the whole city of flies right there. I couldn't just leave Mrs. Susan alone. I thought maybe it's dementia or something. Can you look into a detective? Oh, and don't worry about Bashka. Hopefully, she'll still be sleeping when I get back in a few hours. But I gotta warn you, she can be one noisy little girl sometimes. I understand, Colton. Now, I love dogs, and I'll start an investigation right away. You go be with Kaylee. And about the money, don't worry. You'll find Mrs. Susan. Some of those facial reactions. She's been like a grandmother like... to you two, right? Absolutely, Detective. She's been like family. We don't have much, especially after buying this house. But Mrs. Susan means everything to us, you know? Well, I'm heading straight to Kaylee's parents now. Please, give me a call as soon as you find out anything. We're really worried about her. Alright, cool. So this guy just set the tone for the whole game. Basically, we investigate some stuff going on in his house. It is so sensitive. So, there we go. And yeah, that storm is insane. That's the most insane storm I've ever seen. I should have stayed home. To open or close the door, drag the door with the mouse on the right stick or the controller. Okay. Let me try it real quick. Let's click it. Okay, there you go. All right, simple enough. Got some mouse action going on over here. You can turn the lights on and off using switches for you bitches. I got it. I got a complimentary. All right. Yeah, this house is nasty. Ugh. What are we doing in here? I don't know what to do. Are we supposed to just go upstairs and get active? Let's try getting real active. Can't even see my ugly ass face. What's going on? Yo, this... Nice, nice. All right. Thunder already making my ass cheeks clap. Sounds great. Not now. Not now. Oh, my fault, big dog. Why is my light flickering like that? What is going on? Okay, I don't know what I'm looking at, and I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'm doing something. That's all I do know. So let's just keep opening and closing. Okay. Let's go back downstairs. This is a very nice house. Spooky as shit, but very nice. Yeah, I don't know what I'm looking for, to be honest. Um, Kind of just exploring the house. Maybe waiting for something paranormal to happen. This game does use mic detection, and I'm allowed to ask it certain things. Like, once we see the ghost, like, where are you? Do something. Come get you some. Move the camera to find a clue. To examine it, hold down the zoom button. Keep in mind that there may be more than one clue in a viewport. Okay. Dirty dishes. Nice. Oh! Hello. This is an automated message from Paul Scrainer Bank. We regret to inform you that your mortgage payment for the property is currently overdue for 
$5,331. Please be advised that it is imperative to settle this outstanding payment as soon as possible to Who avoid... Who the fuck is that moaning? Your prompt attention to this matter is greatly appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns regarding your mortgage payment, please do not hesitate to contact our customer service department. Thank you for your cooperation. Who was that moaning in the background? I wasn't lying about their financial situation. I gotta know right now. That shit was kind of turning me on. You found out about Colton's mortgage debt. Yeah, I did. Because I'm nosy. That's what I get into. Um, We just gotta zoom into things. Okay, let's zoom into this trash. No, we're not zooming into the trash. This game looks so realistic. It's freaking spooky though. I don't like it. I don't like how realistic it looks. Cause it kinda scares me. All right, what are we doing everybody? What are we doing, what are we doing, what are we doing? Oh, I don't need to zoom into that? Yes I do. Ultrasound of a child. Probably the client's fiance. But why is it written here? How long do I have to wait? Typically nine months. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I'm no doctor though. What about this one? Oh shit, same shit? Okay, how do I back on out of here? Back up. Okay. So... Bro got a baby on the way. I got the chills. I got the chills that kill. I got the chills that kill. Fuck. I got the chills. What, what do you want me to do? You want me to exercise the demons? Okay, I'm coming. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm not about this. It's my first day on the job, man. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I, I don't I don't get it. I don't understand. Oh my goodness, man. I might not be able to do this. I'm not the guy. I'm not the guy. Am I the guy? I don't think so. I gotta go. I gotta go, yeah. I, I actually have another appointment. The only autosave has just occurred. There's no going back now. You have to face what you signed up. What? What are you talking about? I, I, just, I just went to the couch. Now I have to finish what I signed up for? What does that mean? Oh, fuck this. All right, let me rub my eye and it's really about time to get to that action. All right, let's get to it. Fuck this game, bro. What was that? Oh shit. What is that? What is that? It's the computer. Fuck. No fucking way. If I have to chase down a password for another two hours again, I'm out. Uh, sign in? Okay, obviously that's not it, even though it was already typed in, I think. Oh no, it's just telling me that I can type it in. Forgot my password. Hey Kaylee, if you forgot your computer password for the hundredth time, I've scattered your toy figures around the house. And I've labeled the boxes with your login and password. First is the chicken ski, then the cow ski, followed by the rabbit ski. What the fuck ski? You gotta be shitting on my ass ski. Okay, you know what? I guess we gotta do what? Chicken ski? So let's go chicken, and then cow ski, and then rabbit ski, and then penumulate for login is the shark ski. The fuck? 
What does that word even mean? Shark ski and lastly the cat ski. The password starts with the fish ski. Oh my goodness. Starts with fish ski. I think you need to blow out my brain skis. That is so ridiculous. Get up. I'm done with this bullshit. Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh my. I saw a thing here. I saw a thing here that looked like that. This thing? That's the, the ro Robotski. Okay, Robotski is his number four. Let's check the first floor first. First things first. Can you get away from me? First things first. Let's go. Here we go. That's, um. Bro, I can't see. Coolski. Okay, Coolski. Coolski is. Where's the number? Oh, number one. Clownski is five. Next one is Tediski. Actually, wait. Fishki and Tediski. And then hopefully I can get the Padworski. Did I say Padworski? I mean, Passwordski. Here we go. Here we go. Tediski. Number seven. That dog is about that life. Goodness, man. The life of a dog is crazy, fishy. Okay, so the password is 07415. Fuck this old ass lady, bro. I'm him. All right? You understand me? Now I just need chicken ski, count ski, rabbit ski, shark ski, cat ski. Why are there so many of these scattered around the house? Here's another one. Chicken ski. Chicken ski. Okay, uh, chicken ski is number eight. Okay, I need to find cow, rabbit, shark, and cat. Come on, you can do it. You're about that life. Here we go. This one is six, shark ski. Okay, so it's a blank, blank, six, blank. If I could just find one of the last two, then I can just guess the last number. But I can't find one of the other ones. I've been to every single room in this house. Wait, I haven't been here yet. There we go, rabbit ski. Okay, rabbit ski is two. Now I just gotta find cow ski. Is cow ski in here? You know what? Like I said, I could just guess. I could just guess. Okay, we don't need to be doing all that. All right, let's just guess what the number could be, okay? So this is what I'm gonna do. I already know the password. It's 07415. So... 07415 and then let's guess this one it's eight blank so let's go eight one two six three sign in nope okay let's go two okay let's go three let's go four fuck you five six seven eight it's got to be nine if it's nine i'm so done it's nine it's all right, it's Bella. Hey. Babe, it's is good. Kaylee home? Have you fixed her cam yet? I was thinking we could have a little, you know, hour time while she's away. Oh, hey, Bella. Yeah, Kaylee's with her parents tonight. What's up? Seriously? What? You sound a bit off, babe. Is everything Why okay? would you pretend to be this person? I'm really looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, just a bit tired. You know, it's been a hectic day. Tired, huh? You sure? You sound like something's up. I was really hoping to come over. What's the deal? Just need a bit of downtime. Mrs. Susan is missing. Mrs. Susan is missing? You're being a bit vague, babe. I was really hoping to spend some alone time with you. What's the real story? Look, it's just not a good night, and I need to take it easy. I don't know why you would Catch even answer this call. Time. Sure, but you're not fooling me. Why are you being so distant? We had plans, and now you're back. You know what I mean? Bill. It's not the right time. I promise we'll make up for it. I need to go. I catch up later. Kaylee won't be thrilled about this. I don't understand what's going on. Okay, switch cameras with the previous and next buttons and use the night vision with the night vision button. What's the night vision button? Uh, why is my microphone picking shit up? Oh, what the heck? Now the dog's barking. 
What the dog doing? Oh, how, how did I do that? Night vision is N. Okay. Oh, this is freaking creepy. That lady was behind me. Why am I sitting hunched back like that? That's not good for my posture. Bro, stop. Okay, hold on. The dog's barking. Let's let's check this. Giggle. Okay, you might as well have just made it called Jiggle or something. Um, wh what do I type here? Crawler. You can use an internet browser on your computer to search for the text clues you find. Bro, you should come with me. You should come with me, please. I can't do this alone. I don't want to do this alone. We have to search Crawler on Giggle. And it says, you discovered an article about the death of Miss Susan. Remembering Miss Susan Crawler, tragic loss sparks a community's reflection on mental health. Okay, basically Miss Susan took her own life in the house. And I guess that she's still here. Like, her spirit's still here. That's creepy. Because she's already, like, attacking us for no reason. We didn't even do anything. Alright. But anyway. Let's back on out. And then, what are we doing with that information? Oh god, she be behind me again. Oh god, she is! Fuck. I... What are these macaroni noises? Oh my god, damn. Freaking macaroni sounds in the house. Not the good kind. What's up, baby? Okay. Yeah. Oh! From now on, microphone will detect every noise you make. You can also start communicating with a paranormal entity. I'll be alright. Okay, let me test this out. Testing, testing, one, two. I'm scared. I'm scared, I'm sorry. I, I really need to shut up now, everybody, okay? Let me shut up. Let me see something real quick. Do something! Okay, okay. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Where am I supposed to go? Or what? Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, now I can talk, I think. Oh, fuck me. I don't like these mic detection games because I cannot stop yapping. Colton, it's me again. Listen, just stay quiet for a sec, okay? I need to tell you something. I'm trying to stay quiet so, for the rest of this game. I did some digging online, and guess what? What's up? Mrs. Suzanne died some time ago, three years to be exact. Isn't this crazy? Yeah, that's I wild. Mean, why didn't we hear about it right when it happened? Why did you see her this whole fucking time? Something is not right here. It's like someone wanted to sweep it under the rug or something. This is all so bizarre. I need some time to process this, and you should probably see a shrink or something, unless this is some damn ghost business. I'm done. Don't try to reach out to me. I'm dead serious. Wait, what? What did I do? I, I didn't even... I gotta check the cameras. I gotta check the cameras. OH MY GOD! What is she doing? What, what, what is she doing right there? Freaking dancing on the second floor? What are you doing? Over here tap dancing and scaring my ass! Oh, come on, bro. She's still there? She's still tap dancing, bro. I'm done. I'm done. You know what? Go ahead. Go ahead. Scare me. Do me like that. I need to stop talking, okay? What? 
the fuck? Oh, this dog won't stop yapping! In that contraption where, night after night, ere we slipped into sleep, our gazes intertwined, beholding our cherished TV series, just you, me, and our Baja. Okay. Why are you here? Asking her a question. I think you mean the bed, right? Is this it? What is that? Zoom in and hold to collect the photo piece. What? What? Are you friendly? Please don't scare me. Please don't scare me. Hold on, there's like a list of things that I can ask the ghost. I just want to make sure I have like the right words that I can say. Use zoom to select and move around. Okay. What am I... What am I zooming in on? Use zoom to select... Oh. Okay. Uh... Right here? Like that? There you go. Okay, let me check the computer one more time. Because yes, I am a pussy boy. And I just want to see if she's in the room with me. Because I can't stop yapping. Alright. Oh! There's the dog. So every time I find a piece, I need to come here and then move the piece. And then the dog's going to start barking in a new area. Okay. So from now on, everybody, I'm going to try to be as quiet as possible. Because this person is alert. Very horny for me. And I don't like the vibe. So I'm just going to be very quiet, okay? where each time I should have assisted you in cleansing our shared garments on the daily grime. If only I could rewind time. Cleaning our shared garments. Okay. I know what you're talking about. Laundry. Laundry. Where's that? <gasps> Good. Okay. Somewhere here. What? Right here. Get it. Okay. Go this way. That dog is awesome, by the way. That dog is really about that. So use zoom and select. This ghost is so sensitive, bro. Okay. Go here. This one. Um, shoot. I have no idea. Maybe like that? There you go. Okay, let me check one more time. Not because I'm scared, just so I can know. Oh, dude, the ghost is right there. Holy crap. Bro, why is she so freaking ugly? Ugh. And she think that she's bad when she smiles like that. She's a little oogly googly. Not gonna lie to you. What is that thing in the kitchen? I just saw something floating in the kitchen. Yo, this is wild, bro. Okay, at least we know she's downstairs, though. That's the most important thing. Oh, dude. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Well, now we just gotta find the dog. We just gotta find the dog.
that's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. I know where that thing goes. So, turn it up. Mm, bop. All right, cool. So we probably just got a few more pieces to go. This is a cool little puzzle. Uh, right here. What did I say? In that place where I truly never existed, where we could forge countless co Oh, kitchen. All right, cool. At least these puzzles aren't so hard. You know what I mean? Like, even a dumbass could know where culinary is inside of that kitchen, baby. All right, maybe I should turn on a light or something? Because fuck me. Let me turn on a light. Here we go. Uh, uh, shoot. Culinary memories. Um, I don't see shit. Where would we be? Where would we be? Oh, right here. Give me some. Okay, cool. Okay. Collect fourth torn piece. How many pieces are there? I'm like sitting far away from the microphone so the ghost doesn't get me. But shit, I don't even know. I don't even know if that's actually doing anything, you understand? Click this, get that. I'm guessing this is part of this thing. Yeah, there you go. Bam. I like checking the cameras because it's easy for us to find this barking dog. I kind of want to take this dog for my own. This dog's super cute. Little cutie, cutie patootie. All right. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Dog's barking in the master bedroom now. All right, cool. I'm doing a good job of not yapping everybody. Usually it's Yap City over here, speaking Japanese with the shits. But I feel like I'm doing a good job. Tell me I'm doing a good job, everybody, please. Make me feel better. Make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. In that realm where you nurtured your flawless beauty, tenderly anointing your skin with flagrant exilers, your own moistured hands, what are you talking about, dude? Bathroom? You might be talking about the bathroom. Okay. I think. And I think it was elixirs, not el elixirs, whatever the fuck I just said. In here. It's gotta be. Yep. Bro, I'm speed running this hoe. I'm like that. This girl don't know what to do with me. And I'm talking about that ghost. Cause I'm really him. I think it's because I'm being quiet. Okay. Um, click this. Get that. Uh, like that. Boom. Okay, one or two more pieces. Depending how big the torn up picture is. So let's see. What was that? Why is the dog sleeping now? Yo, why are you sleeping now? Oh no. Oh God! Please don't, don't. I didn't do anything with you. I didn't do anything to you, I mean, not with you. Fuck, I would never do anything with you. Okay, what do you want me to do now? Um, please don't be behind me, please don't be behind me. Okay. What does it say? In that place where it all ended, and I wandered incessantly seeking you, my love. In that place where it all ended, and I wandered incessantly seeking you, my love. What does that mean? Uh, not the laundry room. Where did it all end? Is it in here? It's in here? Okay, I get it. Are you in here? Where are you? Please stop. Go away. 
Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Fuck, that gave me the chills. Not the room, huh? Shit. Oh, fuck. God. Okay. Whoa. Oh, dude, what the fuck? Yo, I'm not even gonna lie, that's a shitload of blood. Yo, this is where it all ended? You were killed in this room? Oh, that's creepy as hell. That's disturbing. So the person got killed, dragged all the way into that room. How did you clean up all the blood though? I gotta know. Like, come on now. I've seen a lot of crime shows. There's no way to get rid of blood that easily. But this looks like the last piece. So let's add this. Boom, you can use an internet browser on the computer to search for the text clues you find. What does that say? Holt... Holt... Holton? Holton. Okay. So, we have to search for a Holton. Whole... Ton. Yes! A hero sheriff's bravery 40 years since the daring rescue in Pennsylvania. In the small town of Greenfield, Pennsylvania, nestled among the picturesque landscapes and rolling hills, there exists a story of extraordinary bravery that has become a beacon of hope and inspiration for the community. This narrative revolves around Sheriff Robert Holton, a man whose courage and selflessness came to define the spirit of heroism in the hearts of Greenfield residents. It was a chilly autumn night in 1982 when the local family was abruptly awakened by the piercing sound of a fire alarm. The source of the disturbance was their neighbor's house, now consumed by the inferno that threatened to devour everything in its path. The family trapped inside faced a dire situation with little hope for escape. In the midst of chaos, Sheriff Robert Holton, already renowned for his unwavering dedication to the community, received the distress call. Without a moment's hesitation, he rushed to the scene, not as an observer, but as a rescuer determined to defy the odds. Upon arrival, Sheriff Holton was met with a scene of sheer terror. The flames roared uncontrollably, painting an orange glow against the darkened night sky the family immobilized by fear were visible through the thick smoke desperately signaling for help from the upper floor window undeterred by the intensity of the blaze sheriff holton swiftly coordinated with the local fire department to create a strategy for the daring rescue with the flames raging around them the sheriff and the firefighters worked tirelessly to breach the burning structure as the first responders battled the inferno sheriff holton equipped with a protective suit charged into the smoke-filled building guided only by by the distant cries of the family he navigated through the treacherous environment with unparalleled determination finally reaching the upper floor sheriff holton discovered the family huddled together in a room rapidly succumbing to the enroaching flames the urgency of the situation amplified as he ushered them toward the window the only possible exit amidst the chaos sheriff holton maintained an air of calm and reassurance urging the family to trust him as he orchestrated their descent to safety one by one he carefully lowered them down with the help of a makeshift rope ensuring their escape from the clutches of the relentless fire the heroic rescue concluded with the family safely reunited on the ground and Sheriff Holted emerged from the inferno unscathed but forever changed. The town of Greenfield hailed him as a true hero and the events of that fateful night solidified his place in the hearts of the community. Now, four decades later, the legacy of Sheriff Robert Holton continues to inspire generations. The heroism displayed on that autumn night has become a symbol of courage, unity, and resilience echoing through the quaint street of Greenfield as a testament to the indomitable spirit of one extraordinary sheriff. Holy fuck, I deserve a medal of my own for reading that. Let me stop talking. Around here. My apologies, Sheriff. 
I'm here on behalf of the new residents. Yo, did you not see that ghost just jump scare me from the back? The former occupant of this house. This is Susan. She did it again! Shoot her! Why would anyone be poking around her old place now? Well, Sheriff, sometimes these cases have a way of lingering. The new residents are concerned, and they just want some closure. Closure, huh? Well, I reckon that's understandable. But what's with all the noise? Ah, yes, I'm afraid my investigation can get a bit noisy. You don't hear that ghost <gasps> trying to clap me? Probably gonna clap me again! She's gonna get me again. But if I hear you don't her. mind me asking, Help me. why now? Why all this fuss over Mrs. Susan after She's gonna all get these me. years? It's my duty to follow up on any leads, Sheriff. Right now, my leads point me to this house. Well, all right, then. I'll leave you to it, Detective. She's gonna jump scare me again as soon as we close down, this door. You? Don't need the whole town up in arms over some ghost story. Is that Detective Holton? He's gotta be, right? Somebody's behind me? That's where the lady died. Something's up with the Holton guy. Dog went back to sleep. I got a fart. Eh, it wasn't that loud. Fuck, my mic couldn't even detect that. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Use zoom to select and move around the mouse wheel or lift. Oh, no. What? What? Oh, no. Where are you? <laughs> Shut up. Okay, okay, okay. All right, that was instant karma. Instant karma type shit. You're right. I, I will keep my boys down. I just wanted to see if you were about that life and yes, you are beating my shit up. Where are you? <laughs> So, if you look behind, she's really behind. And she's over here hushing me with those gums. She don't even have dentures. That shit gummy. Help me. That's not a word. That's not a phrase. Shut up! I didn't even talk. I didn't even do anything. I was just minding my own business. Where are you? Meet you there. Oh God. Holy shit. You weren't lying. Oh my God. So she was there for good reason. Oh God. Oh my. Okay. I mean, thank you. Thank you for that. 
the lights are all on, but I'm just gonna do this anyway because it's it's for my own ego. I want to stroke my own ego, please. Um, last one is C. There you go. <gasps> what the heck? I don't. Shut up. Put it in. Thank you. Successfully restore power. All right. Yeah, what are you going to do about it now, huh? I turn that power on. That's what I do. I turn things on. I don't know how to turn it off. Can I go back on here? Nope. Why did she not want me to turn on the power? Why, where are you? Okay. What? Yes. Whoa. Eliminate the fuck! Eliminate the oppressor or lose everything you've uncovered. Oh shit, right there. Fuck! Turn me up! It out? Oh, shit. Who are you? Bro trying to snipe me? Alright, let's get to it. Bop, bop. It's this bitch! Oh shit. Bro, I'm giving him kneecap shots. After all, Shut up. Bro, he's all really about that? No more he's like a final boss. This dude's the Elden Ring boss or some shit. He's sniping the holy ghost out of me, bro. How many shots you gonna take, dude? My gun's out here overheating, just frying your ass. This ghost is not on my side. I don't understand. Come here. Sorry, ugly. Why is the ghost keep coming to me? Did I get him? I got him. Yeah! Get over here, ugly! Aw, oh, yup! Died tugging on his underwear? In a stunning revelation, Detective White unraveled the dark truth behind the tragic deaths of Miss Susan and her husband. The culprit was none other than the revered Sheriff Robert Holton, a man of authority and respect in the community. Jealousy had consumed him when Miss Susan chose another over him, leading him to commit a heinous act of vengeance. Sheriff Holton's manipulation of local news painted him as a hero, disguising his own sinister deeds. He orchestrated the fire that engulfed Miss Susan's home while her family sat down to supper, ruthlessly ending their lives. But it wasn't enough. He went further, concocting a false narrative of heroism to cover his tracks. Miss Susan, far from taking her own life as the fabricated report suggested, was found to have been pregnant when the coroner examined her body. The extent of Sheriff Holton's depravity knew no bounds. Oh, fuck. Yet in the face of such darkness, Detective Wyatt emerged as a beacon of truth and justice. With unwavering determination, he pieced together the evidence, unmasking Sheriff Holton's vile actions and bringing him to justice. You mean shooting the shit out of him? Because we didn't bring him to justice. We just did what we had to do, I guess. When the police arrived at the scene, Wyatt stood amidst the tears, a hero in the midst of tragedy. Despite the pain and sorrow, his resolve remained unbroken, a testament to his commitment to seeking out the truth, no matter how dark or daunting the path may be. And that's it. All right. So it was a story of jealousy. And if I can't have it, then nobody can have it type of story. And the sheriff wanted to be with Miss Susan. Miss Susan decided she wanted to be with her own lover and have her own family with her partner. And the guy couldn't accept it. So he had this evil plan where he was just going to set the house on fire and kill everybody inside. And it made it look like Miss Susan took her own life when that wasn't the case. If what I'm reading is how I'm interpreting it. But one thing that I don't get is why Miss Susan was so hostile towards us when we didn't even do anything. We were just trying to investigate the truth. If anything, she should have been trying to help us out more because I was asking for help through the microphone and she was just scaring my ass. So maybe she just wanted to see me scared. Maybe she just enjoyed fucking with me. I don't know. But that was the game. It was scary. I cannot stress enough how scared I was to um, like go through halls and just like turn the corners and just how just random her jump scares were it really freaked me out i want you all to let me know what you all thought about this game in the comment section down below but if you all enjoyed me playing through it make sure you give this video one big fat like and tell a friend today that jay from the cub scouts is that dude